All right, well, welcome back to Alaska Savage, and uh, me and my niece, Rochelle Rodriguez, are uh, gonna make um, some pickled salmon. She wanted to try it, so we're giving it a run for the mine. It's always nice to know where your your uh, food comes from. So um, we live off the land, and it's kind of nice. So we've got some mixed uh, sockeye and a little king salmon that we're doing. And uh, the first step is we're gonna skin this salmon, get the skin off of it. I don't really like the skin. Um, stuff will pull it out of the freezer, but I don't like the skin in my smoked fish. So first we're gonna skin it, trim it up a little bit. I've already done some of it, but just wanted to get you guys an idea of what we're doing. That's gonna be really thin, it's gonna cure up a lot faster. So if they're thinner, you can make them in little bigger chunks. And if they're thicker, make them in little smaller chunks. And that would be that. Don't worry about the bones, the vinegar actually um, pretty much dissolves the bones. It doesn't It breaks them down pretty good so you don't really get, you can eat them. But what we're doing is we're just layering the fish in this cake pan. We're going to cover it with saran wrap and we're done. We're going to press it down with some weight and then put it in the fridge for 24 hours. And then we're going to pull it out and do a vinegar bath on it and get these big chunks of salt off of it. Do not rinse it with water because you can hydrate it and it kind of takes away the curing process. So trying to firm up this fish and cure it. Try to give yourself lots of room between the fish chunks and use this towel here. We're just gonna hit it with ice cream rock salt. Just any kind of rock salt. You can get the salt off, use table salt, you get it way too salty and you can't get it off. So what we're trying to do is actually cook this fish with the salt. Try to get it evenly coated everywhere. It's all covered. Press it down. Within just a couple hours, this is gonna make a pretty soupy. Um, it's gonna get wet. It's gonna start pulling all the moistures out of the fish. And we're gonna put this in the fridge. So that's done. Gonna get that uh, 24 hours. And tomorrow we will uh, do the rinsing process and start putting it in bags. Or in the jars, I'm sorry, these are the jars we're going to be using. <coughs> right here, finished product. We've got white distilled vinegar. We've got uh, four ounces of pickling spice that we've put in a double cheesecloth so you don't have to, and I might double it up one more time just so we don't get all the seasonings out. I don't mind some in my, my mixture, but I don't like eating it when I have the fish. We've got three lemons, three red onions, she wanted to throw some chives in there, so we're throwing some chives in there. We got some fresh dill. We've got six cups of vinegar, six cups of water, and five jalapenos. So, it's gonna be a little spicy. We might even throw in some of these, a uh, couple of the jars, some red chili flakes. But uh, we're gonna throw all of this in this brine. So, we go do the brine. Here's our water, six, six cups of water. Six cups of vinegar. Four cups of brown sugar. You can use white sugar. I just like the color of the brown sugar. Also, um, 
Michelle wanted to throw in pickled beets. Where are those? In your fridge? Mm hmm Where at? Down below? Yep. So, they recommend when you put them in your pickled fish that they're already boiled. These are already processed. They're already pickled. So, we're going to slice these and uh, put them in with a mixture also. But uh, this is all after your fish is all processed and uh, and all cooked from the cure. Um, we're going to end up cutting all these into slices, cutting them into chunks, um, preparing all that for the jars. Once it's all cured and your brine is all done, so you take this, they have extra cheesecloth. Actually, I think I'll just let it ride. So you just take this, you throw it in there, and we're going to put that on the stove and let it cook for about i don't know get it to a boil for about 20 to 30 minutes and then put it on simmer for maybe an hour put it off somewhere put it in the fridge whatever you want to do let it cool down you can't be putting it on the fish when it's hot and uh tomorrow we'll be stuffing jars and uh finishing up the process and then it'll sit in the fridge and refrigerator or cool area for about a week and then you can eat it We salted the fish for 24 hours. Um, we cleaned off all the rock salt. If you don't use the heavy salt, then it's really hard to get the salt off. Uh, you use table salt, it's almost impossible. And you do not want to rinse this in fresh water because it just rehydrates it. You, you lose all the whole purpose of salting it. So what I've done is I just put some vinegar in here, not quite covering it. And I'm just gonna roll it around in the vinegar and try to get any of the smaller chunks of ice or uh, salt off of there. And we're gonna start stuffing jars, but we've done a little prep work for the jars. We ran the jars to the dishwasher and uh, we've got the lids over here boiling in fresh hot water, it was boiled. And this is our pickling juice or marinade or whatever you want to talk call it um we've taken the bag of pickling spice out and we're going to put a little of that in every jar she wants to have some of it in there so i'm not a fan of it but she wants it in there so that's what she's gonna get so um we're getting ready to start stuff in jars i'm gonna rinse this fish a little more with uh, some vinegar and we're gonna start stuff and this is all of our ingredients all prepped and uh We'll get some of these stuffed and we'll show you how we're doing it. Me and Rochelle um, have stuffed a few jars just to kind of speed things along, but we're down to the last little bit of the ingredients. I also wanted to show you, we cut a lot of the peel off of a lot of the different lemons or on um, the slices of lemons because after it sits in here for a while, it really gets that strong, bitter rind taste and I'm not a big fan of that. So we left some of them, but a lot of them we trimmed them off. So anyways, we're just stacking fish in here. It's nothing um, complicated at all. No rhyme or reason. Throw some jalapenos in there. Throw in some beets. Red onions. Throw some more fish in there. Rochelle likes the dill. So we'll throw the chives and the dill in there. I mean, what's pickled fish without dill, right? <laughs> okay. I won't be able to sample any of this, which is kind of a bummer, but it's more jalapeno, more beets and onions. fish could have used a little more fish we had about five to six pounds of fish could have probably used a little more found some more lime since this is our last year i'm just going to try to stuff it with as much goodies as i can get it's not a lot of fish but um, the other jars have a little more fish in them all right so we're done with pretty much this stage. Let's try to top off most of these jars. Let's 
Good thing about doing this at, not at my house, I don't have to clean up the mess. <laughs> I'll help her clean up. <clears throat> all right, that's probably about all we're gonna get in these suckers. And she wanted the seasoning in there, so we're gonna make sure these are slightly packed down, nothing crazy. Even take the beet juice, which is fine. take a little bit of this leftover seasoning and put it in the top I think she's gonna tell me I was right at the end and not having to eat all this stuff is the cloves <laughs> and the pepper and you can do everything. a couple without okay I'll leave a couple without mixture of the brine that we did with the sugar, the water, the vinegar, and the pickling spice. And I'll just use one of these jars. And we're just gonna top them off. So here we are in the final step. Um, we've got a little bit of a wet clean rag and uh, there's a lot, there's sugar and everything in here. So I just dry this lip off, get it nice and clean. <laughs> and she has got some lids that she's been boiling. And all we're doing is just putting a lid on there, snugging it down good. And there you have it. Pickled salmon. You can do it with halibut, salmon. Um, makes a great snack, goes really good on salads. I'm just kind of disappointed I'm not gonna be here in a week to try it out. You can't, you don't wanna, you want this to let it sit for at least a week. So all those flavors from everything that you put in there um, get mixed in and start saturating in the fish besides it being salty, but they look really pretty, don't they, Rochelle? So pretty. So pretty, <laughs> uh, girl. All right, so if you guys like what you're seeing, um, I'm gonna try to do some recipes. I'm gonna try to do all kinds of stuff that I like to do and enjoy to do. And if you guys like it, please uh, hit the like button, share it with friends, subscribe. Um, at least I know I'm doing something right. So know where your meat comes from and whack them and stack them.